Good morning, good morning. Good to be with you this lovely morning on this beautiful day. You know, God has given us this day. He's made this day. And I just want to bring a little message on to you today, um, this morning. And I was just thinking about this quite a bit over the last while and uh, probably because we've been doing quite a few things in and around the house and in the garden and stuff. And I was the, the word that actually came to me was, um, I am strong in you, I am strong in you. And it's talking about um, us being strong in the Lord <laughs> because sometimes we, we don't feel like we're strong and we feel like we're wobbling around a bit and we're, we're sort of here, there and everywhere. But you know, God just wants us to know that we're, that we're, that we're strong in him today. And I was uh, just thinking of some of the, uh, just a few little sort of stories along the way. Um, sometimes, right, if we feel weak and we can't manage lifting something heavy, we ask for help in many ways and many times and and we have um two massive washing baskets full of stuff normally on monday after doing the washing and uh, ruben has all these white shirts because he's you know his job now and you know there's like two big washing baskets and i have to say to nick nick can you carry them upstairs because i just can't carry them up the stairs and nick i have to ask nick's help to carry them upstairs and and if we're out doing the gardening the same thing i you know we mucking in together doing all the gardening and uh, then I've got the, um, it's like a big pair of shears, but it, they cut the branches. And I, I cut the branches and then I come to a really great big thick one and I just can't cut through it. And I have to ask Nick, you see, we need to ask for help. Um, if we're having our salad and we are, we're opening up the different jars, we get to the jar of beetroot, the new jar of beetroot, and I just can't undo the lid. And I have to ask Nick, because his wrist is stronger to undo the lid. And um, even recently when we've moved um, up to, I've moved up to this room, it was our daughter's bedroom, I've moved up here and some of the things I just couldn't lift, I just couldn't carry out to keep on asking Nick to help me. So why am I sharing all these practical things? Why am I saying all these things? It's because sometimes we, 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 we try to do everything ourselves, we don't rely on other people, we try to do it all ourselves and we need to rely on other people to help us in a physical aspect but God wants us to rely on him because he's saying this morning you know, to us, you're strong in me and we can say, Lord, I'm strong in you. So I've already said, if, if we feel weak, then we can get help with doing physical things. And, and quite recently, I was sitting outside um, having a cup of coffee in um, one of the shopping um, places outside and I happened to see this um, family walk by and uh, there was a dad and a mum and there was a couple of kids and this little boy um, had all, had like an armful of toys. I don't know if he just got them from the toy shop and he was trying to hold on to these and he was trying to drink his drink and I thought something's going to something's going to fall on the floor in a minute but his dad happened to notice what was happening and he said here son he said give me give me all of those and it was just a lovely picture that is seeing the dad take all the toys off this little boy and he could just quite comfortably drink his little drink while the dad was carrying the toys and that's a bit like how God is with us he want it's the same picture he wants to take all the the things that we're carrying if they're too heavy the Lord wants to take them and he wants to give us strength you know, we, we when we are weak, when we are weak, God is strong and gives us the strength we need. And, and of course, there are different types of strength we need. As I've already mentioned to you uh, as I started off this message. Physical strength is one of the things that we need help for when we're doing our cycle. The last uh, the last bit, the last quarter of the way back, because sometimes we cycle quite a long way. And I just think, oh, am I ever going to... I don't think I can make this and you, and you start to really sort of like lag a bit and then all of a sudden I just say no come on Lord I've got just help me I've got to get back I've got to get back and all of a sudden strength seems to come from nowhere and we manage to get back so God can give us the physical strength we need if we ask him and if, if we help him but we also need to pace ourselves because on a cycle I'm pacing myself all the way I go fast and I slow down it's about pacing ourselves you know not trying to take on too much not trying to do too much not trying to be too much because if we are we'll become physically exhausted and then God wants to give us strength emotionally if we've been through a battle maybe where we, we, we've had to get a lot of emotions have been stirred up maybe somebody's passed away maybe somebody's been ill maybe there's been a conflict in a relationship I don't know all of these things use up emotional strength and we, we sometimes have to give out so much, much emotional strength. God wants to give us, um, you know, help us in that area. He wants to give us strength emotionally and even mentally. God wants to give us strength in our minds. This is where all the thoughts start in our minds. The thoughts, the negative thoughts, different things. Sometimes our minds like a battlefield. All these things keep coming and God wants to bring strength to our mind. And one of the ways he can bring strength to our mind is through the word of God, is, is as we praise, is as we praise. 
you know God can give us that strength that we need and spiritually sometimes we might feel weak spiritually because we're going through a battle something's happened something's affected us but God wants to give us that strength and in all these ways the way we can get the strength is not turning away from God is not trying to do things in our own strength it's not trying to do things in our own flesh but it's it's turning to God in, in different ways it's turning to him firstly in prayer because the cry of our heart he hears the cry of our heart firstly in prayer and in worship and praise and in reading the word and maybe putting on um, a message, you know, uh, the, you know, a church message that uh, one of the, one of your pastors has spoken out. Really listen to that message again, you know, phoning up a friend, getting a friend to pray with you, talking to a friend. There's lots of ways that God can use us and, and can use people and use different things to give us the strength that we need. So God wants to give us the strength we need. And so I just want to read this out. Um, it said in, in Isaiah 40, 29, it said he gives power to the faint and, and to him who has no might, he increases the strength. Isn't that wonderful? So he gives power to the faint. And to him who has no might, he increases the strength. And that's that's talking about our God, what our God can do. So if we need strength and we feel frail, you know, there's frailty, we feel like, oh, I feel a bit frail today. We, we reach out to God, we call upon God. God will give us the spiritual power. And you know, sometimes, folks, sometimes we might just need to rest. We might just need to say, look, okay, right, that's it. Do you, do you know when you're leaving the house and you close your door and you're going to town, you're going somewhere else, you close the door, you make that you know, that definite thing, well, I'm closing the door, make sure everything's locked up, I'm going into town. Maybe God might just be saying, you know, you need to, to come and rest a while with me. Just come and rest, you know, go out for the day, go and walk around the park. Just go and see, you know, the, the fountain in the park. Walk around, receive rest. Go and get a cup of tea. Maybe get some lunch out. Just let, just let that rest come. Part of the way God gives us strength. Sometimes it's when we rest our body, physically. It's when we rest ourselves emotionally. When we rest ourselves mentally and spiritually, God can give us the strength we need, and He can give us the spiritual power. And then in two Corinthians twelve nine it says, "But He said to me, My grace is sufficient for you." For my power is made perfect in your weakness. You see, when we're really weak, when we come to the end of ourselves, we can know God's power and strength in our lives. He wants to give us his power and strength. God has promised us so much. He has promised us so much. The trouble is we don't take enough time to look into all that God has promised us, to look into the, all of who God is and all of what he means and all of what he has done and all of what we can receive and all of what we can apply to our lives. And if we if we do more of that, then we'll become closer to the Lord and we'll know his power and strength in a greater way. So, you know, again, this this says for when for when for when I am weak, then I'm strong. But the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. The Lord said the Lord gives strength to his people. I've been talking a lot about that already. The Lord gives strength to his people. The Lord blesses his people with peace. And another thing that comes along with that is peace. You know, God brings peace. He brings his peace and he wants to bring his peace into different difficult situations we might be facing as his people today. He's the God of peace. He's the God of comfort. He's the God of strength. So if we reach out to him in our weaknesses, in our times of desperation, in our times of need, you know, call unto me and I will answer thee. If we reach out to the Lord, he will just come and he will lift us up and he will give us the strength we need. He helps us to be overcomers. And he will also bring that peace into our lives. The Lord gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. And I just want to read this, this psalm. I just want to finish by reading this psalm. This is, I just felt I should read this psalm. It's, um, it's Psalm 27 and it's a beautiful psalm and I'll read it out for you. And then I'll, say, then I'll just say a prayer. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid when evil men advance against me to devour my flesh? My enemies and my foes attack me. They will stumble and fall. Though an army besiege me, my heart will not fear. Though war break out against me, even then I will be confident. One thing I ask of the Lord, this is what I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze upon the beauty of the Lord and to seek him in his temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his tabernacle and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above, above the enemies who surround me. At his tab tabernacle will I sacrifice with shouts of joy. 
I will sing and make music to the Lord. Hear my voice when I call, O Lord. Be merciful to me. Answer me. My heart says of you, seek his face. Your face, Lord, I will seek. Do not hide your face from me. Do not turn your servant away in anger. You have been my helper. Do not reject me or forsake me. O God, my saviour, though my father and mother forsake me, the Lord will receive me. Teach me your way, O Lord. Lead me in a straight path because of my oppressors. Do not turn me over to the desire of my foes, for false witnesses rise up against me, breathing out violence. I am still confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong. Take heart and wait for the Lord. And what a fantastic psalm. God is our light. He's our salvation. He's our strength. And we can trust in him today. Even when spiritual enemies and the powers and principalities try and, you know, come against us, God will help us. He wants to make us fearless people. We don't need to be afraid because God is our power, he's our strength, he's our everything, he's our all. And we can take hold of the truth of that. He wants to give us confidence in him. Even though we may feel that we're at war and different things might be happening, God can give us his confidence. And he wants to um, give us spiritual desires. You know, he wants us to, to hunger and thirst after the things of the spirit. You know, some of the f times the fleshly things get in the way. They try to overcome us and try to take over. God wants us to have that spiritual desire, that love for his house, that love to be in his presence, that love to be close to him, that love to, um, you know, just, just rest with him, just be with him. And he wants us to see him. He wants us to, to know him. He wants us to be prayerful people. And he will. he's promised to protect us. As we read this psalm, he's promised to comfort us that he's our spiritual foundation. You know, what do we build on? If a building is put up and it's got a rubbish foundation, it will collapse, it will collapse and it will fall down. But if the foundation is right and it's perfect and it's correct, the building will stand. The Lord is our spiritual foundation. So whatever is, is built on the Lord will stand firm and strong. That he is our security. That he that he's our security, that he wants us to come with praise and singing to him today. And as we seek God and we're obedient in seeking him, we, we will hear, we will know what he's saying. His face isn't hidden from us. Some people might be saying, Well, I, I can't hear, I can't see, I don't, I don't know what God is saying. God's face isn't hidden. He will speak, he will guide, he will direct, he will help us in so many ways. And he, he just wants us to, to, to seek him in guidance. Um, he wants us to be able to hold on to the truth of who he is, that we believe and know God, that he will give us courage, that he will give us strength. But, you know, folks, sometimes in all of this, it's about waiting, waiting on God and waiting for him. Sometimes we have to wait and we don't like to wait. It's like when you're in a queue, you don't like to wait if you're in a bank or you're somewhere. But sometimes we have to wait for God. And there's a reason why we have to wait. We don't know. God is God. He knows everything. He knows all about us and there's a reason why we have to wait so sometimes. So if we, if we are waiting for something for the Lord, let's just keep holding on to, 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 what, to him and to what he's, he's going to speak to us through his word in different kinds of ways. So I started off by saying, I am strong in the Lord. That's the word today. I'm strong in the Lord. And I just pray, Father God, today. I just pray, Lord. Thank you for this word. I just pray that this word will just go out. Uh, to hearts and lives thank you for the folks that are watching live and i pray that for other people that look at this message later on lord thank you that you've, you've said in your word that that when that when we're weak that you are strong and i pray for your spiritual strength lord this morning to come upon the people that are watching um this video lord whatever strength they need whether it's physically mentally emotionally spiritually whatever strength they need Lord, I just pray that they would find that strength and that power in you today, that peace, whatever is needed. Lord, you'll bring us through the troubled waters, whatever's needed. You are the God of strength. You are the God of peace. You are the mighty God. So I do just pray for, from a, for a touch from you, Lord, today. Lord, that you will be to us all that we need. Thank you that we can call upon you. Lord, I will call upon the Lord who is worthy of praise. So I'm saved from my enemies. Lord, thank you. We can call upon you. Hallelujah. The Lord lives. Blessed be my rock. May the God of my salvation be exalted. We exhort you in all of your power, in all of your might, in all of your majesty. And we thank you and praise you for what you're going to do in our lives. It's not about us, but it's about you. So we do just come and we just hand everything over to you now, Lord, believing um, that you hear and answer our prayers and that you're going to move us on. 
Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you so much for watching, folks. It's really lovely seeing some folks watching. And um, I, I send this out with lots of love. And I just pray that God will encourage you and bless you. And maybe post it out to somebody else to have a listen to if you feel that they will they need to hear that this word. And I will be back on again from time to time. Um, it's in his presence tomorrow night, 8 p.m. live on, on this uh, page. For any that are listening, I'd love to see you tomorrow, Friday night, the 27th, in his presence. Sending you lots of love. Take care then. God bless you all. Bye-bye now.